Hello everybody, welcome back to All Things Shazzy. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so let's go ahead and make these candied pineapples. Hey, I am using a can of diced pineapples. I went ahead and drained them out, and I'm now you see me just dabbing them dry, and then I'm going to go ahead and stick screwers to um, a side of it, and then I will pop them in the freezer when I'm all done. And so I have used these pineapple chunks before to make chocolate covered pineapples, but never candy. I did get the inspiration from the Your Sweet Connection channel here on YouTube, YSC. Um, I'll link that down below as well. Okay, so I'm just about done putting all the sticks in and again, I'm going to go ahead and sit these in the freezer while we make the candy mixture. Okay, so to make the candy mixture, you are going to need a pot with two cups of sugar and also a half a cup of corn syrup and a half a cup of water. Okay, so I am just going to get the rest of my corn syrup out of this cup because I don't want to leave any corn syrup behind. We need it all. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some white gel color to the pot as well uh, this is just going to help to keep my color bright and make sure that the pineapple doesn't show through and i added some pink i added some dark pink here um, because i'm going for like a baby powder pink looking color and then we're just going to go ahead and turn this on medium heat and just mix it on up until it comes to a boil Okay, so now that the mixture has come to a boil, I went ahead and add my candy thermometer in here. And you just have to make sure that um, the pointed tip, like a little metal tip, doesn't touch the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and just let that cook until my candy thermometer reaches 300 degrees. And then we'll go ahead and turn it off. And yes, of course, just like always, for the sake of time, because I don't like to make really, really long videos, I did go ahead and stop in the midst of the boiling. Um, and let it got finished cooking, remove the candy thermometer, and now here we are to go ahead and dip. Now we have to dip fast because this candy will get hard really quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip these pineapples and then lay it on this parchment paper. As you can see, when I dip, I twist it around to kind of help it to drip off. So the candy is not just dripping everywhere. With this one, I tried to make me a little um, skabob, a little candy skabob. <laughs> it's going to be cute. Good too, but it's cute. Alright, so these are just some little nerd pieces that I got. And I actually caught these bags on sale at Walmart for $0.26 and they don't expire until next year. So, a total steal. Always check the clearance aisle at Walmart. Okay, so they dry pretty fast. It's always gonna hot. These six do just pop right out. You can see all I have to do is just pull. Some of them I do have to hold because it's, when I was pulling the stick, it was trying to bring the whole piece of candy with it. Okay, oh, these turned out so cute. They look so yummy. My kids are gonna really enjoy these. All right, so that is the end of my video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.